Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your first of two You Pick Tuesday matches. Roly Winkler, 2018, Mr. Olympia, versus Akeem Williams, 2020, Mr. Olympia. These two guys match up very well. And might I add, I have a very corporate approach to this video. Very serious. Midsections, small for Akeem Williams. Yet, I think that Roly Winkler would have an edge in that aspect because of the all-important muscle separation in those abs. Now, you know that makes a difference. You know that makes a difference. And aside from that, Akeem Williams' his conditioning is just as good when you look at the muscle separation in the legs even better. But like I said, guys, that midsection, that's your frame. That's your piece. That's the center piece. Not the frame, but your center piece. And you have to draw your aesthetics, your aesthetics from that. Let's go to the Saturday show. Now we have the Friday show and the Saturday show. And I like this. Muscle separation, less dramatic for Roly, but I think he's doing a more of a vacuum pose because if you have seen the Friday, Saturday shows for Roly Winkler for 2018, he was a lot leaner here in, in the uh, for the Saturday show. Anyway, that's the front relax. Take it for what it is. Go to the front double by. Akeem Williams. He has some guns. He has some guns for sure. Are they as big as Rollies? Maybe not, especially on a smaller frame. Rolly not that tall. Akeem is a tall man for a bodybuilder. 5 feet 10, I do believe. Rolly only about 5 foot 7, if that. But anyway, guys. Midsection for midsection. See, I like uh I like the midsection of Akeem Williams. Like I said, lacks muscle separation in the abs, but very small when you look at the lats, things of that nature. But I think uh, the V taper, I think it might be a little bit better of a look for Roly Winkler. Look at the wheels, though, guys. Can't ignore that. Here's the Saturday show. And you see what I mean? The midsection of Roly Winkler. He's a whole lot leaner here. Maybe less vascular, less monstrous, I think, than he was on Friday. But I think this is your better Roly Winkler here. And Akeem Williams. He looks darn good too, guys. Look at the wheels. He's winning in the wheels for sure. But aesthetically speaking, I think I might go with Roly Winkler in the front double. Go to the front lat. And this is, of course, the Friday shows for each. Maybe a slight stomach distension in this pose, that is, for Roly Winkler. And that's just not a distension, but you know what I'm saying, guys. I think the, the lats are more pronounced for Roly Winkler. Or for Akeem Williams, I apologize, Akeem Williams. Highly inserted lats on both gentlemen, and we could see that from the uh, front relaxed position. Close though, guys. This is a close matchup. Go to the uh, Saturday show, front lat spreads. Look at the difference here, guys. Roly Winkler looks awesome. This is an awesome front lat spread. You could ever imagine that one? Roly Winkler having a good front lat spread. Here it is. But then again, guys, look at Akeem Williams. I think the judges would give it to him. Just those lats are so huge. Not as aesthetically pleasing as Roly Winkler, but he's bigger, he's taller, he's bigger, and that makes a difference, guys, and that can make a difference. And if you don't think it does, what do you think Roly Winkler is placing so high all the time? Because he's t Tinkerbell? No, it's, he's huge, he's big, size matters. Now, when you turn to the side... Roly Winkler shows his true colors. From the front, he doesn't look like a, you know, doesn't look like the biggest bodybuilder of all time, but when you turn him to the side, he looks overwhelmingly thick, in particular in the upper body, but the wheels as well. Akeem Williams, some of the awesome, some of the best, awesomest side lags bodybuilding history. From the side, that is. And, you know, guys like Roly Winkler, awesome, awesome too. I mean, look at his wheels from the side. He's, you know, these guys are very, very comparable in this pose. But I think I would give an edge to Roly Winkler, to be honest with you. He uh, has superior muscle separation in the upper body. Look at the arms. Look at the arms. And on a smaller frame, just comes out at me. Now, we only have 
the two side shots. And this is not even really a side tricep per se. It's a hoo-ha position. This is a hoo-ha pose. If you don't know what that is, this is what Rolly Winkler is doing. This is a hoo-ha pose position. It replaces the side tricep. I think they should uh, do. Yeah, have to do both. Have to do both. They should do a Christmas tree and a hoo-ha. That should be like a, a minor pose, not a mandatory. Eh, it should be mandatory. Should be mandatory. Rolly's getting this one, by the way. I mean, that's obvious. It's obvious. <laughs> Go to the. Did you even need to judge that one? Go to the rear lat spread. And what a showdown this is. I like Rolly's back better. But it's close. But it's close. But on the other side of the token, the wheels, the lower half, not only is Akeem bigger, but he's better. Better conditioned. Hamstrings, glutes. But you can't ignore the back. Can't ignore the back. And, you know, Rolly's not in bad condition here. Now, this is the Saturday show. Rolly looks drier. I think he's he stands a better chance as far as the conditioning. Condition versus condition, that is. But then again, guys, Akeem Williams' back might look a li- even a little bit better here for Saturday. Look at the muscle separation. That is a lot of back. I like the traps for Rolly a little bit better. It's a close one, guys. It is, you know... It's going to be a toss-up of a match, no matter what way you look at this. Go to the rear double by, and I'm sure a lot of you guys were waiting for this one. Lower lat insertion versus lower lat insertion. Whose is creeping down lower? I think Roly has, uh, has a little bit of an edge in that aspect. But these guys are identical as far as their back makeup is concerned. No real true, you know, genetic favors. These guys had to work for... Every inch of lats they have, for sure, for sure. So nothing but respect. And this might be an unpopular decision, guys, but it looks like looks like Akeem Williams is in better condition. And of course, Roley was the people's champion. Everybody loves his physique. I do too. So I had no arguments with it. I had no arguments with it. Here's the Saturday show, and now when you look at the glutes, Roley he doesn't have the striations. That Akeem does, but I think he's close to being as dry as Akeem. Akeem nailed his conditioning here. Now, I have Akeem slightly shorter in this one because he's leaning back. You notice that? Creating for some lower lat insertions, perhaps? I don't know. You guys think that's an improvement? Or do you think he just should just stand up straight like he was in the first one? I don't know. Either way, I got Roly winning the back. But I got, uh, to be honest, I have Akeem. It's close in the rear lat. And I have him winning in the conditioning in the lower half as well. Legs. Go to the abs and thigh. And really, no matter what way I lean in this matchup, at the end of each pose, it seems to be the opposite. Look at this abs and thigh pose. This is much like a side tricep. Doesn't even really need an explanation. Akeem, he does have a small waistline. As you can see, he has a good V-taper too. But he just does not have the, you know, Rolly Winkler. He has a a runway model abs. Those guys with those perfect six-packs. It's usually the type of guy that, you know, your ex-girlfriend will date. Things of that nature. But not a lot of muscle mass. But Rolly Winkler has that plus the muscle mass. Anyway, guys, I really am a lost I'm a lost. I'm a loss for words. This is the most muscular. Rolly Winkler most certainly winning this one. Is there anybody that he can't defeat in this? Well, I'm sure there is. But Akeem Williams for a mass monster. I don't want to call it a subpar most muscular, but he has... It's a competitive most muscular. Rolly Winkler's is... It's defeating Phil Heath. It's defeating everybody's, I think. It's defeating... Hey... Big Rammy defeating that that guy in this pose, that is. Anyway, guys, this is a very, very tough decision. But here is your winner. And, in my opinion, it could have went either way. And I know how you guys see these matches. You guys are going to say, oh, that's an easy win for Roly. Good decision, Mark. 
But you know what? I was on the fence. I could have easily went with Akeem, and you guys would have called me this, that, and the other thing. But guys, he was in slightly better condition in those glutes. I think Roley kind of made up with it for it in the, the Saturday show. He was a little drier, and he doesn't have what you would call a lot of striations in the glutes. He was dry enough, I think, to be competitive. But where I got it was the accumulation of the poses. I had him winning the front double. Wasn't winning the front lat, but it was close. I, I had him winning both side shots. Clear wins. And back for back, he was probably winning maybe both back shots. But not the conditioning and not the wheels either. But I mean, come on. it was And enough was enough with the last two shots. I mean, Roly cleaned house. Both of those shots. He's a beast, guys. And that's his nickname. That's your first of two You Pick Tuesday matches. And this was a big one. This one could have easily been a, a premiere. <laughs> what a good matchup. These guys will be vying for a similar position, I am sure, at the Olympia. If they both make it, that is. Hit thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and look forward to one more You Pick Tuesday matchup. Have a great day, guys.